Welcome to the Strenuous Life Radio, a podcast for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, men and women, learn the essentials and soft skills in the strenuous life. And now, in full power, once again, your host, J.R. Hendricks. <laughs> That's right, tables get returned. <laughs> Jimmy's interviewing me, now I'm interviewing Jimmy. And I'm hoping it's more of a dialogue than Jimmy just doing all the talking. Today we're going to be talking about empathy with purpose. Jimmy, would you tell me how it is that you came to giving me this this uh, two-parter topic? Well, it's easy. A couple of nights ago, I... Uh, I was sleeping. In that dream, my mother had returned back uh, home. Said she was worried about, worried about, it. worried about me. Well, I went into the guest bedroom, I guess, the podcast, and heard this discussion. It was like this man's voice. I was like my uncle's. He said, Now, don't you worry about James. He's got plenty of people around to help him, you know, to look after him and everything. You had to do what you had to do to step into your purpose. <clears throat> now, I think that that's beautiful. I really do. <clears throat> How can we use empathy to step into our purpose? Well, let's try for more of an entrepreneurial thing. Let's say this this dude, okay? Let's go back to say nineteen ninety nine. This dude's come up with this nifty candy bar. And those kids are just love. And the gimmick is, you know, one of the kids gets it for a discount and gets to appear on, on TV with him. Is it going to be callous to throw that kid? No. Now I'm not going to say he's going to tolerate bad behavior. He's going to consult with mom. Is it Okay. For your son or daughter to, to come on TV. Ask a kid, can you can you be a good little boy or girl? And then you can get your and then you can get your chocolate bar after you come on TV. It's it's empathy, but it's teaching child values uh, with a purpose. It's um, consulting with a parent who's the ultimate customer with a purpose. You know, uh, I think it behooves the entrepreneurs they're going to market to customers and have some decent uh, subordinates. They need to show empathy. If the end all be all is uh, just make a buck and and not give a flip about the customer, then you got trouble. Because see, we were, we were talking pretty early that the idea of resilience How can you not have resilience? How can you have resilience if you don't have empathy for yourself and for others around you? Exactly. I mean, resilience is, is, is wonderful, okay? And I talk about my podcast, Pattern, Pattern Public Speaking, which sadly for the time being has fallen by the, by the wayside. But how can you use those skills together? Of resilience and public speaking without using it to have empathy. 
to show feeling and understanding. This is this is not something that we ironically just want to sit sit around and and and, and fart around. Now I'm not saying that living a strenuous life means that you can be mealy mouth. Some things are as, as they are as they're meant to be. And truth is truth and all that stuff. There's things you shouldn't compromise. But you should still have you should still have empathy. Because seriously if you don't have empathy with your per with your customers, it, it defeats the pur purpose. It defeats the purpose. Because as an entrepreneur, you have to go above and beyond the call of duty. Respecting and having some empathy for all your customers. Re regardless of what class or race or, or creed. Cutthroat capitalism is the way of the past. You may not say you want to on JR. Why do you why do you say that? Do people in cutthroat capitalism they go out and go out and upward say that they're part of the cutthroat culture? Do you think that lasts very long? In the 21st century? No. Not with the political and economic strata changing so rapidly. It may have been popular in the 20th century. But 21st century, Jimmy has said this over and over and again in his book. That such things is, is wrong. It's in, my, it's in my book, The Winning Personality. A values-based approach to entrepreneurship in this economy. And I think one of my chapters where I kind of drive it home is the first the first chapter when I talk about the ambivert. But I also think it goes along with faith. It goes along with faith because truthfully you need to stay humble. And have empathy to be a successful entrepreneur. Social cutthroat capitalism. As some people might call social Darwinism. Darwinism goes by the wayside. Um, I'm a deep devout Christian. And I pull my princess in saying that we have to have the humility and the empathy. In order to be a success. And with that, I hope you enjoy this in the stream with Life Radio. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the stream with Life Radio family. This is J.R. Hendricks saying, until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Y'all get up there and build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others don't uh, want so you can step out there and have what others can't. Think strong, live strong, and live this stream with life. God bless you. Y'all take care now. You hear?